Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today I'm coming to you guys with how I moisturize my hair. Now that I've kind of switched up a little bit knowing more about my hair um, from my porosity level and if you have not checked out my video on porosity 101 I should say then you can click right here and Um, has been washed and I conditioned it as well. I conditioned my hair with um, a different product though. Don't laugh you guys because my hair, I literally just washed it. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look at least a little bit cute. I conditioned my hair overnight with this Tea Tree Triple Tree Invigorating Conditioner from Giovanni's. And um, this product is amazing. As you can see on the back, it has that you know it's a, a light conditioner to deep conditioner and this one is kind of in the middle back to the subject of sealing in the moisture so we're going to be doing the lock method as usual i'm not going to add the um the o at the end of it as the loco um I'm just going to do lock for my um, hair type. Um, so I have my as I am leaving conditioner. So I have my hair into four sections. As you guys notice, I don't hardly use any like hair buzz or clips or anything. I just go in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add my leave in, and you know what? My hair is really, really like dry right now i'm going to add some water to my hair too so i'm using the leave-in now here again we already have the leave-in we're going to finger detangle a little bit So next we're going to add an oil, which we're using the curls oil, to really lock in and seal the moisture into our hair. And now I'm going to use a cream, which is also very moisturizing. This is a moisturizing cream. And a little goes a long way, so I'm not using a lot of cream on my hair. And, you know, while I'm continuing on doing this, I'll just talk to you guys for a while. I feel like I haven't really been talking to you guys because, you know, this whole YouTube thing is so, it's like, it's like, being natural <laughs> it's a journey um so you try to learn trial and error whatever so you know when i first started my videos i love hanging out with you guys and talking and all that good stuff but then people start complaining about how long my videos were so i try to you know cut the videos down um to cut the the um time down but in the process of cutting the time down I basically had to leave all the important useful information for you guys so then like all the person um, personal stuff and small talk was cut out and then I kind of got accused of you know um, you know doing too much um, talking about just products it's like you can never win you can never win so anyway, trial and error. Am I the only one, you guys, I always wipe my hands in between products because it's it gets so weird. Ugh. All right, anyway, oil, <laughs> focus. So now we're putting oil. And next is our cream. And the ends, focus on the ends too, you guys, because... Of course, that's our oldest hair. And really rake those products in. So you saw how dry and blah my hair was before. 
Now look at it. Look how moisturized and curly it is compared to that dry mess that I just showed you. <laughs> Do you guys remember how oily, I mean, how dry looking that hair was? And now look at it. Like, this is amazing. This video is, is not a style tutorial. This is simply how to moisturize your hair and seal in the moisture. Um, so it's not a style tutorial. So it's, I'm not going to come back with a, a style or anything. I have so many style tutorials on here. Um, although I do need to redo some of them, you know, now that my hair has grown, like do a twist out, my bantu knot out, I need to do that again. Because I haven't did one of those since my hair was like super short. So again, look at that moisture. Curls popping without even adding really a style in products you know so we're all done putting in all of our twists so now what we're going to do is we're just going to oil our scalp sealing in the moisture in your scalp is also very important of course because we want our scalp to not um, be dry or flaky we want our scalp to be healthy um, so moisture is important and for that um, so what we're going to be using right now, um, which is, this is Alake Naturals, who is a very proud sponsor of my Yolanda Renee Takes Your City Tour. Um, and I love Rochelle because she's a fellow YouTuber and she's doing big things. Um, so I have raved about this oil forever. I love it. It's her Essential 17 Growth Oil. Um combo or combination or whatever and there's so many oils in um in here there's so many ingredients in here there's a herbal and botanical blends in here as well um so there's also eucalyptus oil in here tea tree oil peppermint oil sweet almond oil so much stuff in here and all of these oils um of course help with stimulation to your scalp so the blood flow is increased you know so that helps with growing hair um so that's why this oil is amazing i don't put a lot i just put them in the parts of my hair and then i just try to get it to go everywhere else because even though this oil is amazing we of course do not want to clog our pores so we don't want to go overboard you know what i mean and just kind of give it a nice massage and just rake it on your scalp so we're all done you guys I hope that I taught you a thing or two about moisturizing your hair especially our low porosity girls which I've heard some of the um <laughs> the slang is low po our low po girls hey low po girls hi po no po <laughs> Norpo. I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, you guys, my hair feels amazing. And that oil that I just used from Alake Naturals it still has that kind of like tingling sensation from the eucalyptus oil, I'm sure, and the tea tree oil. Once you're done with all the moisturizing and sealing, I think it's very important to let your hair air dry like I'm not going to immediately put on a scarf or anything because my hair is still like soaking wet so I'm going to allow as much moisture as possible to stay on my hair so it can start really getting into the hair shop and let the oil seal it and all that good stuff um, so I'm just gonna let my hair air dry or just do this on the weekend so you can have your Friday as your wash day and you know sealing in the moisture and then on Saturday is when you can style your hair and be ready for the work week you know what I mean um, but I find it very important to do it in steps like this um, moisturizing and sealing one day styling the next day because I like styling on dry stretched hair but I do not really like to use heat on my hair so I rather just 
do it this way you know what I mean um for those who are disappointed that this wasn't a styling tutorial I am going to be doing one um, in my next video um, and I'm gonna be using an entire collection which you guys know I absolutely love Entwine Couture so I have um, Entwine Couture's products here oh, and don't forget if you guys live in the DMV area um, Maryland Virginia DC Delaware anywhere near here <laughs> I'm having um, my first meet-and-greet in my home state and it's gonna be in Washington DC at bar Cell on July 26 and we have a handful of tickets left so please if you guys want to come and hang out with me meet Taylor and Sky and Devin and just you know learn about my hair regimen and all that good stuff um, and just pick my brain and just hang out um, definitely um, get your tickets I'll leave the link below um, so you can purchase your tickets but I really hope to see you guys there on July 26th from 6 until 9 at bar 7 it's gonna be amazing drinks appetizers giveaways swag bags amazing I cannot wait until this event and um, yeah so I'll leave the flyer next so you can see it um, I have a commercial type thing that I'm gonna upload very soon just to get the word out a little bit more but I definitely wanted to bring it to you guys because um, it is July <laughs> all right you guys thank you so much for watching see ya